Pretreatment is a national program. It came about after the Clean Water Act was established. The pretreatment program manages wastewater discharges from commercial and industrial facilities. Some of the overarching goals of pretreatment are to maintain water quality within the Big Thompson River, to make sure that those commercial facilities are complying with regulations, to maintain the health of the wastewater treatment plant, and to protect public health. It's really important for folks to understand that, especially in Colorado and because of the arid climate that we're in, water is not just a single use item. Essentially, our wastewater gets processed through our wastewater treatment plant and is released to the Big Thompson. At some point, that water becomes someone else's drinking water. The wastewater plant is designed to treat domestic waste, basically just human waste and toilet paper. So from a pretreatment perspective, we want to be able to prevent as much extra chemicals from reaching the plant in general. There's a lot of biology here at the plant that is really delicate and it can be upset. Pretreatment helps to protect that balance so that the plant can continue to do what it's been designed to do. Let's take a restaurant, for example. Restaurants in the city of Loveland and in many other municipalities have a pretreatment grease removal device, and that helps to trap food scraps and fats, oil, and grease. And the pretreatment program will work with restaurateurs to maintain that device, make sure that it's working properly, make sure that it's getting pumped on a regular basis. It's just making sure that they're maintaining their pretreatment devices properly. Larger industrial facilities are subject to a permit and that can introduce additional requirements such as inspections or sampling of their wastewater discharges. It's everyone's responsibility to help maintain good water quality within the city of Loveland. So business owners should be acting as good stewards and making sure that these pretreatment devices, whether that's a, a sand oil interceptor, at an auto repair shop or a, a dental amalgam separator within a dental facility or a grease removal device within a restaurant. It's their responsibility to make sure that it's working properly. Fats, oil, and grease, also known as fog, can be really problematic within the collection system. When fats, oil, and grease are warm, they are easily flushed down the drain, but when those materials cool and congeal, they can stick to pipes and cause clogs and capture other materials. Capturing food scraps, capturing fog, and disposing of it with the trash is really the best way to handle that. Not flushing items like dental floss or Kleenex or disposable wipes Basically just human waste and toilet paper is the only thing that should be going down the pipes at your house. <laughs>